For the default method, you first have to thread the band through the installed spring bars as shown. Next, pull the excess of the strap through the forked end, creating two passes underneath the watch. Now, pull the NATO through the buckle and up the retainers. If you have excess like me, you can just tuck it back through the last retainer, either on the inside or on the outside, whichever you prefer. For a slimmer fit on the wrist, you can also fold up this forked part of the strap towards the buckle. Now, pull the strap through this retainer first before pulling it through the buckle. The rest of the steps remain the same. With most of the fabric at the side of your wrist, there is only a single pass below the watch, making it wear not as high. If you don't like the look or feel of the buckle and excess on the side of your wrist, you also have the option to position the watch more towards the middle of the strap. As you can see, this will place most of the band below your wrist and give you a sleek look from the side.